welcome to my tutorial I've been addressing a few things in this video here um, I got a few uh, questions here on YouTube about a few different things so I'll be addressing those one thing I want to point out and uh, this is for beginners um, beginner acts uh, well they're all beginners uh, thing I'm gonna point out here is a mistake that be beginners make when they're designing websites and to stay away from one person asked me how to make uh, First of all, I want to know how to make two div tags go next to each other, like I see I have here. I make them two different colors so you can see. And also, one person asked how to make them auto expand and contract when they minimize the browser like that. See, they auto adjust themselves. So, I'll be adjusting that. And another thing here, I got on YouTube, if you go on my channel and you look at my how to enter the navigation bar in Dreamweaver, you'll see quite a few questions saying, oh, my, nav my navigation bar don't work, or it ends up behind a flash uh, file, or behind a JavaScript. Uh, slideshow so I'm gonna show you guys how to do this beginners and I'm gonna say this stay away from absolute positioning if you're a beginner it will get you in trouble real fast if you don't know what you're doing one other thing I, I want to point out again I got this question too like people they'll say because sometimes I, I'll ask people oh send me a design and then I'll take a look at it for you if they can't figure out what's going on and sometimes they'll say to me you know, I, I want to make my website stand out but you know somehow my color is not matching this is a site that one of my subscribers sent me and I want to say to you beginners, find a theme that you want to work with and stick with it. If it's black and white, it's black and white. If it's blue and gray, it's blue and gray. If it's red and blue, it's red and blue. Stick with your theme. Don't jump all over the place with colors. It doesn't look great and it's going to look pretty weird, you know. For background, I would always say stick with white or something close to white. Or if you want to add an image in there, that would be great. But, you know, try not to put too many halo colors and stuff in your background. They don't look too 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 wonderful. As you can see here, i got a whole bunch of pink and blue and stuff going on. And I asked this guy permission to use his uh, design in my video. But, yeah. So, this is what he came up with after we go back and forth for quite a while, you know. And I decided to just, I had some time, so I decided to build him a template. I decided to make him a uh, website templates for him to use for his online games and this is what I came up with for him uh, I just jumped to his homepage this is what I came up with for him for his website as you can see it's it, it looks better it's it, it's just more classy layout you know there's not a whole bunch of loud stuff going on if you notice I stick with his design colors I stick with his pink I stick with his little blue there's some little blue over here on his social bar I stick with his, some of his blue stuff, you know. I, I I stick with his colors, but it looks great, you know. It's it's different, and it, see the pink and everything that he had is still there, and I have a white back um body for my thing, and then I have a picture in the background. So you know, guys, try to keep it simple but professional. That's what I want to say. Simple but look good. Don't try to add a whole bunch of widgets that you see on the line all the time because that's what beginners do they go around every website and they see a whole bunch of widgets and they try to add different different widgets everywhere and it just doesn't look good so stick with your uh, design theme so I'm gonna quit rambling on I'm gonna jump into um, here's another theme that I'm working on right now too you know it's simple and it's classy so guys pick a theme stick with it can't stress that enough here in Dreamweaver I'm gonna address the absolute how to stay away from absolute positioning and and at the same time, how to have two div tags line up next to each other. So I'm going to insert a, a, a div tag here, and I'm staying stay in design view for beginners. It's a much faster in a code view, but I'm staying stay in design, for in design view for beginners. So inside this parent tag, and I call it a parent tag, inside a parent tag, you want to insert two more div tags. One that's going to go left and one that's going to go right. So I'm going to go insert. I'm going to call this left. Then I'm going to go insert again. And now this time, we're going to go after tag. And then we're going to go after our left tag, and we're going to name this one right. Okay, so see that? Now we have two tags. Now I'm inside my right tag, and I'm just going to make a new CSS property. Over here, just click a new CSS rule, and I'm just going to click OK. I'm not going to create an external style sheet. For my box category, I'm going to make this 50%. The reason I do 50% is we want it to automatically expand and contract as well. And so when they click, when they resize the browser, it will be 50% of whatever the browser is. And for those who want to know how to flow, to put div tags next to each other, we want this one to go right. So you go to your float over here and float this one right. Click apply. Okay. Now for this one, we're going to click inside our left one now. And I'm inside that. I'm just going to click create a new CSS rule. Okay. 
and width again is going to be 50%. I'm going to change this from pixels to percent. Make this 400 pixels high, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna float this one to the left because we want it to go to the left. I'm gonna give it a background color so we can see what we're doing. I'm gonna change this to red. Pick up high, okay. And then I'm gonna change the right one to a different color. So when you open it in the browser, you can see what's going on. So I'm gonna change this to blue. Click okay. And as you can see, we have two div tag next to each other. We don't use any absolute positioning, and this stuff is great. Now for the navigation bar issue where people say okay my navigation bar ends up behind a, a tag one of the reasons you're using absolute positioning and you don't have the right attribute sets set for that for that absolute positioning but if you still want to use absolute positioning I'm gonna give you a code you can use a Z index to get that above anything else so let's pretend this right here and it won't be able to just show you like display on the screen how, how it works but I'll show you the attributes to use to get away from that so we can just enter Z dash index I N D E X like your index page of your website colon one semicolon what the one does is put it in first place above everything else so if you use absolute position and that happened to you just use that uh, CSS uh, properties and everything should work wonderful and also let's say this is the navigation bar and you use the the Z index to make it come above if you want to be absolutely sure let's just say this is the div tag for the uh, slideshow that is going behind go down here do Z index again but this time we're gonna do minus one and then semicolon so that way you're telling the, 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 the slideshow go in the back and you're telling the navigation bar comes to the front so they will pass each other. Navigation bar will now be over your whatever element is there. So, hope this clears up the a bunch of the issues that people have been having. And I want to say again, guys, and I'll show you guys again. Stick with a the theme. Don't jump all over the place with colors and uh, different cool widgets you see all over the internet. And it, it usually never turn out good. Trust me. I've made a mistake when I was learning too and it doesn't turn out good so stick with your theme I'm not saying you can't add a widget later but get your design how you are satisfied with it how in your mind how it looks and then you can add little stuff as you go along and you know so okay guys uh, that's it I think um, also the online game it has a chat room um, I forgot to point it out I put a, put a chat room on here for me I gave him a contact form I built his home page chat room and a contact form Okay, so I pause this video and it's logged in. It's a, and it's a database driven um, chat room. So if you click on here, you can type whatever you want. It will automatically comes in. And if there's 10 people online, it will tell you there's 10 people online. So you can see it works. Um, it says one person online because I'm the only one logged in right now. And it works great. So if you guys want the chat script, I'll give you the chat script. I won't give you the, the, the template that I built for him, but I will give you the chat script. So if you guys want the chat script, I will just send me a message and I'll put a link in the description if more than one if if people start asking for it I'll put a link in the description you guys can take that and do whatever you want with it um, I learned this quite a while back I don't remember where so LRS I would have said where I just don't remember where I learned this it's, it's been a while and the social bar over here too if you guys want that script I can give it to you as well so thanks for watching guys hope this helps and hope this clear up a lot of uh, issues that beginners are having I hope this make a little bit more sense so for all the people who request these videos, hope this helped you guys out. Happy coding. Bye.